All right, let's now check out the oscillator section. As we already know, you get three oscillators on the Novation Peak. They're all identical, so if you know how to use one, you'll know how to use the other two. Right now I have this particular preset loaded in. It's going to be a bit tricky to understand what's going on with a complex preset like this. So let's hit that initialize button. So we get this pure single voice or tooth tone. So right now we just have one oscillator audible. The other two oscillator levels are down. Let's crank up the level on this oscillator to the highest. So as you can see in here, it's a sawtooth wave. Let's check out this section over here, which is your main octave control. It's set in feet, going from 16 feet all the way up to 2 feet. Pretty straightforward. There's a course tune control. And on the screen you can see what the actual value is. So that's moving in semitones. So that has a range of a octave up and down. Next to it is a fine tune control. And that has a range of 100 cents up and 100 cents down. Now just with these tuning controls, there's so much we can do. So for example, if I bring in the other two oscillators, I'll set them at different octaves. Set this to two feet. So now we have three oscillators in three different registers. Bring up the level on the two oscillators here. I think I'll move this one down to 16 feet and the second one to eight. All right, not bad. Now instead of doing that, what if we set them all to the same octave and then detune them ever so slightly? So you get this nice chorusing effect. We can also change the chorus tune control. So set this at plus seven, which is a fifth above, and maybe this one at plus four, which is a major third above. So you can create some pretty rich textures just by playing with the tuning of the three oscillators. I'll initialize the settings again. So we're back to that single sawtooth oscillator. Okay, next you get a waveform control. As you can see and here, currently we're set to a sawtooth, but we can change it to, let's say a sine, a triangle, the sawtooth again, a pulse shape, and then under this more category, you get a bunch of different wavetables. Right now it's set to this variation of a sine wave, but in the menu if I tap oscillator here and navigate to oscillator one, you can see the wave more is set to be a sine. But I can scroll through and change to any of the different wavetables that we have over here. There are a total of 17 different wavetables. Now when you say wavetables, it's assumed that you also have wavetable position control. With this shape amount dial, we get exactly that. Let's try that out. So you can see on the oscilloscope as we are morphing through the different waves in the wavetable. Let's try one more. Let's go for this harsh wavetable. Cool. So that's how you can change the wavetable position. Now this shape amount dial is not just a wavetable position control. If we switch back to that sine wave and play with the shape amount, you can see it works like a wave shaper. The positive and negative amount seems to be same on this shape. Let's try this on the triangle. This sounds a bit like oscillator heart sync. Now with the sawtooth shape, it's actually pretty interesting. When you choose the sawtooth waveform, you're not just hearing one waveform, you're hearing two identical sawtooths layered on top of each other. And with the shape amount dial, you can change the phase relationship between those two sawtooth waveforms. It creates that nice, rich, detuned type effect. As you can hear there, when the value is all the way at the maximum, it seems to align back up again. Same on the other end. I think this is happening because the fundamental frequency cancels out and with the remaining harmonics, 
you get the same sawtooth but an octave above. When you choose the pulse shape, the shape amount controls the pulse width. You'll notice the pulse width value doesn't go all the way up to the maximum. You can still hear some signal there. But if you bring it down all the way to the negative, the sound completely cuts off. Awesome. So that's what you can do with the shape amount dial. Now in the next tutorial, we will check out some of the modulation options on this oscillator section.